All right, so let's wrap up skill number five. I thought we had it, but I didn't want to push it and run out of time. Um, no need to rush, no need to rush. Um, so the last one I want to talk about here is another volume example, of course. Um, this is number 16 from the exercises. Um, and this is about the volume of air in a tire. Um, so tires are interesting. Tires sort of are cylinders that are turned on their sides, right? Um, so instead of your, your, what you would think of as sort of the height of the tire uh, is, is sort of the diameter. Um, and, uh, but from sort of a cylinder perspective, if you sort of flip the tire flat, um, to sort of have it where your, your sort of base is the circle, right? What would be sort of the, the, the side of the tire. If you flip it sort of flat, you're going to stack them, right? They're these sort of short hockey puck kind of sized cylinders. Uh, <laughs> obviously not the size of a hockey puck. They're sort of hockey puck kind of uh, proportion cylinders, right? Tires and hockey pucks, basically the same thing as far as I can tell. In any event... So this question is asking us to calculate the volume of air in a tire. If the tire has a diameter of 24 inches, um, the, the rims have a diameter of 20 inches, and the width of the tire is 7 inches. And, and so the hint they're giving us is draw a picture. You would say, okay, great. Um, now this is an art class as well as a math class. And I would say, uh, yes, why not? Um, so let's see if we can get a sketch going. Um, part of the idea, so I'll maybe actually draw two different versions of this sketch, right? So draw a tire. You'd say, okay, well, so it's like a circle and then there's like another circle, right? And then, right, sort of make it 3D. You have something kind of like this, right? This is not totally to scale. Right, that's kind of your rim. Boy, that didn't really look great. That looks a little bit just like mush, right? But the inside here is your rim uh, from the edge out to the edge, right? Is the full sort of diameter of the tire. And then the width of the tire, right? Would be here. So the idea is right in the tire um, on a car, uh, the air is contained only in the, the parts outside the rim or so rather sort of between the rim and the edge of the rubber of the tire, right? Um, so the air only exists out here in this, uh, you know, it's almost like a donut kind of thing, right? Because you're sort of, uh, taking the center out of a, again, hockey puck, right? So you have this sort of squared off kind of donut, um, that is your tire and the air is only out here in the edges. So let me sort of flip this on its side and kind of redraw it. Right, here's my tire. So the width of the tire would essentially be the height of this if we're thinking of it in, in terms of being a cylinder, right? I've maybe made this just a little tight. Um, and so I've got, right, this sort of rim diameter, which is 20 inches, this kind of inner diameter. And then I have the tire diameter all the way from rubber to rubber, which is 24 inches. So what I want is the volume of the air that sort of is only out here in the end, in the end, right? If I kind of think of this coming down, um, what I really have here is essentially an outer and an inner cylinder. This is, this is really sort of two cylinders. There's an outer one, which is right from the edge of the tire to the tire. And then there's an inner one, which is sort of the, the volume taken up that uh, is covered by the rim. 
So this is sort of an inner and an outer cylinder, and uh, they both have what would be the same height, which is essentially our width of the tire, which is seven inches. So what I need to do here to sort of find this volume, this is kind of a, a similar type of idea to what we did with the socket, which is sort of find the, the total volume, the overall sort of biggest version of the volume. So the volume of the air, so that would be sort of the volume of the tire, right? Pi r squared times the height. Whoops. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract away. Oops, I'm sorry. You can't see where I was writing. So you have the volume of air is the volume of the tire minus the volume that goes with the rim, right? So these are going to be two different cylinders, right? Sort of an outer and an inner. You have this sort of outer radius, that's the tire radius, I'm sorry, the outer diameter, which is the tire diameter, which is 24. You have this sort of inner diameter, which is the rim diameter, which is 20. Um, if I'm gonna go radius for the inner, so that's 20 over two is 10 inches. I'm gonna go radius for the outer, 24 over 2, which is 12 inches. So I'm just setting up two cylinders. Um, the height, right, is the sort of width of these tires is my 7 inches, 7 inches across, or 7 inches wide. The tire flipped on its side and acts like a height. So I just got to sub all this information in here. So it's about kind of conceptualizing this setup. So this is the outer stuff, the tire stuff, right, which we said... The diameter is 24, so the radius is 12 times my height, which is 7 minus pi times the inner radius squared, 20 over 2, right? 20 was my diameter, so divide by 2 is 10 inches. Uh, let's crunch some numbers here, right? Pi is 3.14. What do we got? 3.14 times... 12 times 12 times 7, whoops, 0.14 times 12 times 12 equals times 7, 3,165, we'll just call it 3,165. This is all inches, right? So cubic inches minus... Similarly, 3.14 times 10 times 10. So we all know that's times 100. So that's 314 times 7, 2,198. Okay. So to finish this off, right, to find the volume only of the air, I'm just going to take 3165 and subtract away my 2198. And that's going to get me 964. So 960, I'm sorry, 967. My eyes saw the right number, but my mouth did not cooperate. So 967 cubic inches here for the volume of air in the tire. So so it's not just the sort of what would be, I guess in some sense, the you know, the volume of the tire, you would probably just say is is 3165. But if I only want to know, well well, what's the volume of, of the tire that only is where the air exists, right? Because behind the rim is whatever the name of the metal piece is that connects the tire to the car. Uh, I don't actually know what that's called. Um and I'm probably not going to think of it off the top of my head right now. So maybe this is a good point to end the video. So the volume of your tire, right, the volume of the air in the tire is that outer volume, right, from the edge to the edge of the tire, minus the volume of the cylinder that goes from the edge of the rim to the rim, right? So you have these almost Russian nesting doll style cylinders, right, the smaller inside the bigger. You're just subtracting away the smaller uh, volume from the inside to be left with that outer volume, that sort of donut volume of air. And there you go. Definitely took longer than 
the four minutes I had left over. So for better or worse, that's that. Uh, scale number five, volumes. We did it. <laughs>